hello guys uh, welcome to my channel in this tutorial we will see how to download a global watershed watershed uh, boundary for free so uh, to do so you can just go to this website i have provided the link in this video description just click on the link and go to this website as you can see from this website we have uh, these uh, maps or this uh, base map from this uh, you have uh, selections drop down window from this one uh, there is two selections the first one is upstream and the downstream data for the upstream data you can download the watershed and for from the downstream in just you can trace flow paths so for this tutorial i'm going to use the uh, upstream in order to delimit uh, watershed for uh, some area so select the delimit watershed uh, we can change the base map in satellite view from this one and uh, click or select this uh, satellite view and uh, just zoom to your uh, location to download for this area for example yeah as we uh, zoom in we get uh, the grid from this as you can see there are a grid just by selecting one of uh, the grids you can download the uh, watershed for that area so uh, uh, there are an option here also click this uh, option button so there are many selections you can just uh, enter your uh, coordinate for uh, your location or you can just zoom into your uh, steady area so there are uh, options to download the data so uh, make sure that you have selected this one and have to this one to download the data uh, there are two selections from the precision no precision in the higher precision so make sure you have selected the higher precision and also there are layers that uh, the data consists of. these are river layer or stream layer watershed boundary watershed outlets so if you need these three data or layers you can check this or if you only need the boundary you can che uncheck the river and the watershed outlet so i'm going to download the three data layers so uh, i keep it checked so the another one is the source the hazards means from where this data or shade data is created there are two data sources uh, the merit hydro uh, data in the hydro shade data bases so the first one is the most uh, accurate one so select the uh, merit hydro <coughs> so then from this i'm going to download for this uh, matrix or for this uh, scene so just select one place from uh, this boundary and uh, click the del delineate option so the software automatically delineates the watershed for your area so this is the red the red line is the watershed boundary and the blue one is the river or stream lines and here also uh, outlets or water outlet so you can uh, delineate like this and if you have any uh, extra uh, area you can download two or more three layers and uh, match them in uh, your software so once you have selected your area you can select the download option uh, there are many uh, three options to download the data the first one is shapefile format uism or kml uh, format so the rivers in the watershed are downloaded uh, independent or independently so select the download or shape file for the watershed again for the river you have to select download again so the the data is automatically downloaded so extract them Uh, you can read more uh, information about the data from this 
help uh, site or about but site it consists of many information how the data is made and how to use and for what purpose to use the data you can read more information from this site they have the habits <coughs> so once you have downloaded your data you can just open your software i'm going uh, to use uh, rgs pro go to map and add the data Again, add the river data. Yeah, you can uh, colorize it. So uh, this is all about uh, today's uh, tutorial. If you like the video, please don't forget to share with your friends and uh, thank you for your time. We'll see in the next tutorial. Thank you.